Hunter did the business into the brown low at 89, only a few rounds to go. Paul Couch is still our leader. Let's go back now to season 89, some highlights of round number 17. After three consecutive losses, Collingwood bounced back to inflict upon Geelong its second successive defeat. Although Michael Gaper did come up a trifle worse for wear. The Blues brought Melbourne down to earth with a thud at Princes Park, while Fitzroy continued its push for the five with an effortless 12-goal victory over the Tigers. The West Coast moved off the bottom with their second successive win when they downed the inconsistent Footscray at the Western Oval. For Fitzroy come from behind to beat Melbourne by 48 points. And in doing so, the Lions kept their finals hopes alive. Richard Osborne was sensational, kicking 11 goals. And the Brisbane Bears, under lights at Carrara, displayed their best form since entering the competition, with an 83-point win over North Melbourne. Roger Merritt was inspirational, with six goals, while Brad Hardy bagged five. League leaders Hawthorne survived a late finish by the revitalised Carlton unit. The Hawks snuck home by just five points, and the Blues' final run came to an end. On its eighth game in a row, and John Platten continued his excellent late-season form against the injury-weakened Melbourne. Fitzroy moved into the five for the first time this season with a last quarter burst against the Eagles. Collingwood dropped out of the five after a heartbreaking two-point loss to North Melbourne when state player Wayne Schwoss stood out. Tim Watson was brilliant again with 40 possessions in Essendon's big win over the Bears. But that was nothing compared to Greg Williams, whose game against St Kilda was unbelievable. An amazing 53 possessions and six goals out of the centre. In other matches, Geelong beat Footscray and Carlton was too good for Richmond. upsets. Geelong arrived in Perth at 4.30am Friday and copped a thumping from the Eagles. The Hawks likewise journeyed to Carrara and for the first time ever went down to an inspired Brisbane Bears team. Collingwood showed a return to form and moved back into the five with a 33 point demolition job on the Lions. While the thriller of the round was Carlton's one point win over St Kilda at Princes Park. Steve Kernahan booting 10 goals and Nicky Winmar 8. 
The Bulldogs' last home game for the year produced their biggest win for the season over Richmond, while the Bombers struggled most of the day against North Melbourne. Melbourne broke their three-game losing streak by winning another close one against the Sydney Swans. One and for season 89, the final five was cemented. The Lions were dumped from the finals race by the revitalised Brisbane Bears. Coach Rod Austin later slammed them as too tame. Upsets were the order of the weekend. St Kilda, thanks in part to a sparkling nine goals from Nicky Winmar, thoroughly outclassed Melbourne. Sydney overran an injury struck Essendon. And West Coast, on the up, beat Carlton at home by a massive 12 goals. The home and away matches proved to be somewhat of an anti-climax, with the final five well and truly settled. But it didn't stop the Brisbane Bears. They hammered Carlton by 35 points. And Brad Hardy starred with seven goals. Essendon warmed up for the finals with a 19-point win over Melbourne. Likewise, Geelong, who romped away from Richmond. Brian Taylor returned to the Collingwood lineup and booted five goals as the Magpies easily accounted for the Eagles to the tune of 49 points. But it was reigning Premier's Hawthorne who kicked the sweep and Jason Dunstall led the way. Dunstall booted 11 to take his season's tally to 128 as the Hawks thrashed St Kilda by 90 points.